16 shocking things about Mexico that will leave you speechless. Mexico is a land of fascinating traditions and beliefs that will leave you spellbound. From the enchanting day of the dead celebrations to the spine-tingling superstition about nighttime sweeping, let's delve into the enigmatic world of taboos and weird things about Mexico. Are you prepared to uncover the secrets of the island of hanging dolls? So buckle up and get ready as we delve into the peculiar traditions and taboos of Mexico. 1. A unique Mexican holiday, Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is a holiday where families honor and remember deceased loved ones with colorful altars, marigold flowers, and special foods like pan de muerto, bread of the dead. During this time, it's believed that the spirits of the departed return to visit their families, so people gather in cemeteries to clean and decorate graves, sharing stories and memories while enjoying music and dance. It's a vibrant celebration that blends indigenous traditions with Catholic influences, creating a colorful tapestry of rituals and beliefs surrounding death and the afterlife. 2. Witchcraft Markets in places like the Sonora Market in Mexico City, one can find stalls selling items for witchcraft, including potions, herbs, and even animal parts. These markets are part of a long-standing tradition of folk healing and spiritual practices in Mexico, where curanderos, healers, and brujos, witches, offer remedies and rituals for various ailments and concerns. While some may view these practices with skepticism, they hold significant cultural and historical importance in Mexican society, blending indigenous beliefs with elements of Catholicism. For example, many Mexicans seek out curanderos for remedies for physical or emotional ailments, believing in the power of their healing rituals and potions. 3. Nighttime sweeping keeps away your good luck. In Mexico, there's a curious belief that sweeping the floor at night can whisk away your good luck. This superstition is deeply rooted in Mexican folklore and is often passed down through generations. The idea is that sweeping after dark disturbs the spirits and disrupts the flow of positive energy in the home, leading to misfortune. While it may seem strange to outsiders, many Mexicans take this superstition seriously and avoid sweeping after sunset to avoid any potential bad luck. 4. Wallets on the floor brings bad luck. In Mexico, it's considered bad luck to place your purse or wallet on the floor as it's believed to invite financial loss. This superstition stems from the idea that placing valuable items on the ground symbolizes a lack of respect for money and attracts negative energy. Many people adhere to this belief and make a conscious effort to keep their wallets and purses elevated or placed on surfaces rather than on the floor. While it may seem like a simple act, it's taken seriously by those who believe in the power of superstition to influence their financial well-being. 5. Lively music at funerals. In Mexico, particularly in certain regions, it's not uncommon for mariachi bands to perform at funerals. Instead of somber tones, these bands play lively music, celebrating the life of the deceased rather than mourning their passing. This tradition reflects the Mexican perspective on death as a natural part of life, where the focus is on honoring and remembering the person's life with joy and music. Mariachi funerals are a unique aspect of Mexican culture, blending music and mourning in a way that celebrates the individual's journey beyond life. 6. Whistling Woes In Mexico, there's a belief that whistling indoors can bring bad luck or even attract evil spirits. It's considered taboo in many households, with people avoiding whistling to prevent any negative consequences. This superstition likely stems from ancient beliefs about the power of sound and the potential for certain frequencies to disrupt the spiritual realm. While it may seem harmless, whistling indoors is seen as tempting fate and inviting trouble. So next time you feel like whistling a tune inside, you might want to think twice in Mexico. 7. Daring Descents The dance of the voladors is a mesmerizing spectacle that dates back to ancient times in Mexico. 
Indigenous groups perform this ritual, where dancers climb a tall pole and then descend gracefully while attached to ropes wound around the pole. It's a breathtaking display of skill and coordination, symbolizing the cycle of life and the connection between the earthly realm and the heavens above. This tradition is not only a form of cultural preservation, but also a way to honor the ancestors and the natural world. The dance is often accompanied by music and prayers, creating a powerful spiritual experience for both performers and spectators alike. 8. Don't cut your nails at night time. Cutting your nails or hair at night is a common superstition in Mexico, deeply rooted in cultural beliefs. It's believed that performing these tasks after dark can bring about bad luck or even death to a family member. While this might sound strange to some, many people in Mexico take this superstition seriously and avoid grooming activities during the nighttime hours. This belief reflects the broader cultural emphasis on avoiding certain actions or behaviors that are thought to attract negative energy or spirits. For example, some individuals may postpone nail cutting or hair trimming until daylight hours to avoid any potential risks associated with this superstition. 9. Never waste your food. In Mexico, there's a strong cultural emphasis on respecting food and tossing out bread or tortillas is considered highly disrespectful. These staples symbolize nourishment and sustenance, and wasting them is seen as a disregard for their significance. Instead, there's a tradition of using every part of a meal, even leftover bread, which may be repurposed in dishes like soups or salads. This custom reflects the deep-rooted value placed on food and the acknowledgement of its importance in Mexican culture. For example, during celebrations like Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, offerings of food are made to honor deceased loved ones, highlighting the spiritual and symbolic significance of culinary traditions in Mexico. 10. No goodbye, say see you. In Mexico, saying adios, goodbye, isn't as common, especially in casual situations, because it carries a sense of finality and permanence. Instead, people often use phrases like hasta luego, see you later, or nos vemos, see you, for more informal farewells. This avoidance of adios reflects the cultural aversion to endings and emphasizes the hope of seeing each other again. It's a subtle yet significant linguistic custom that illustrates the importance of maintaining connections and avoiding notions of separation. For instance, when parting ways with friends or acquaintances, it's more common to use these alternative phrases to convey a sense of continuity and possibility for future meetings. 11. The Yellow Flower Conundrum In Mexico, gifting yellow flowers isn't the brightest idea quite literally. That's because yellow is strongly linked to death and mourning in Mexican culture. So, presenting someone with a bouquet of yellow blooms might not convey the cheerful sentiment you intended. Instead, it could inadvertently send a somber message, implying sorrow or even foreboding. It's a fascinating cultural quirk that highlights the deep-rooted superstitions and symbolic meanings attached to colors in Mexican society. For instance, during celebrations like Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, you'll find vibrant marigold flowers adorning altars and graves, but never yellow ones. So, next time you're planning to surprise a friend with a floral arrangement, perhaps opt for a more cheerful hue to avoid any unintentional gloom. 12. Mirror, mirror on the wall, don't face me while I sleep. Ever felt like your dreams were a little too real? Well, in Mexico, they take it seriously. Hanging a mirror facing your bed is like setting the stage for a horror movie. It's believed that doing this invites all sorts of creepy crawlies into your dreams, from ghostly apparitions to things that go bump in the night. It's not just about getting a good night's sleep, it's about protecting yourself from the supernatural. So, if you want to keep your dreams drama-free, it might be time to rearrange that mirror to a safer spot. 13. 
feet first, a gateway to bad luck. Ever heard the saying, feet first, bad luck bursts? Well, in Mexico, it's not just a superstition, it's a way of life. Sleeping with your feet facing the door is like rolling out the red carpet for misfortune to waltz right in. Why? Because it's believed that this position invites death or bad luck into the household. It's like saying, hey, bad luck, come on in and make yourself at home. So if you find yourself dozing off with your tootsies pointed towards the door, you might want to do a little bedtime shuffle for some better luck. 14. Hands off, respecting personal space. Imagine this. You're chatting with your friend, having a grand old time, when suddenly they reach out and pat you on the head. Weird, right? Well, in Mexico, that's a big no-no, especially if you're touching the head of an elder or someone in a position of authority. It's seen as disrespectful and intrusive, like you're invading their personal space without permission. Plus, in Mexican culture, the head is considered sacred, housing the soul and all that jazz, so messing with it is a serious faux pas. So, if you're tempted to ruffle someone's hair or give them a friendly pat on the noggin, think again and keep those hands to yourself. 15. Island of the Dolls. A haunting tale. Picture this. You're cruising along the canals of Xochimilco, soaking in the serene beauty of the waterways, when suddenly you come across an island unlike any other. Welcome to La Isla de las Muñecas, or the Island of the Dolls. Here, thousands of eerie dolls dangle from trees, their lifeless eyes staring into the abyss. But why? Legend has it that a hermit named Don Julian Santana Barrera inhabited the island, convinced that the dolls could ward off evil spirits. He spent decades collecting and hanging dolls, believing they would appease the spirit of a drowned girl he found in the canal. Creepy, right? Today, visitors flock to the island, both fascinated and unnerved by its haunting ambience. Some even claim to hear whispers and giggles emanating from the dolls as they explore this spine-chilling sight. 16. Belief in the Supernatural Imagine sitting around a campfire on a starry night, listening to spine-chilling tales of supernatural encounters. In Mexico, stories of eerie beings like La Llorona, El Chupacabra, and the Nahual are deeply ingrained in the cultural fabric. La Llorona, the weeping woman, is said to roam riverbanks, searching for her lost children, her mournful cries sending shivers down the spine of anyone who hears them. Then there's El Chupacabra, the legendary blood-sucking creature rumored to prey on livestock in the dead of night, leaving behind a trail of terror and mystery. And let's not forget the Nahual, shape-shifting beings capable of assuming the form of animals, blending seamlessly into the world around them. While skeptics may scoff at these tales, many Mexicans swear by their encounters with these otherworldly entities, passing down stories from generation to generation. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, there's no denying the eerie allure of these mystical creatures in Mexican folklore. We appreciate you watching this video as we delve into Mexico's intriguing customs and quirks. If you enjoyed uncovering the taboos and weird things about Mexico with us, don't forget to subscribe to Discoverly for more fascinating insights into cultures around the world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.